started with putting this delicious citrus ponzu sauce together, um, you're gonna be amazed at how simple this is. So starting off, we have our uh, fresh juices. I have one fourth cup of uh, fresh squeezed orange juice. And as you can see, I have some of that meat inside of there of the orange. It's not gonna do nothing, it's just gonna, you know, gonna marinate right along in there with it. Uh, and then I have one third cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. All right, now I have the soy sauce. Now, uh, this here is a really good soy sauce, okay? Uh, brewed soy sauce, 28% less sodium. Now, you have the other brand in the uh, green package. You could use that as well, but this is the less sodium, and I would encourage you to use the less sodium one. You don't really want this salty, okay? So if you can't find something like this, a really good brewed um, soy sauce, that's less sodium, go ahead and get the uh, regular uh, brand that has the green label around it if you can't find this. Uh, then we have uh, our rice vinegar. Now, this is equal parts of soy sauce and rice vinegar. So however much you wanna make, it's equal parts. This happens to be uh, four ounces, a half of a cup. So if you wanna make you know, one cup, you would use one cup equally of soy and one cup of rice vinegar, okay? Uh, and then I have my mirin, uh, sweet cooking seasoning, okay? Now, uh, in one of the previous videos, we made some seasoning for the sushi rice. And I told you that you could buy that off of the shelf in stores. And this is what I was talking about, okay? So we're gonna, I'm not going to make some seasoning just to make a, you know, ponzu sauce. I'm only gonna use about a fourth of a cup of this. So there's no need to be making a, you know, a batch of uh, sushi rice seasoning for this particular thing here. So you can always have this on hand. Uh, this is the sweet cooking seasoning, all right? And this is what I was talking about. And you can use this for your sushi rice as well if you don't wanna make it um, like we did in the, in the, uh, in the uh, previous video, okay? Um, and these, again, are the brands that we use. And then we got some Bonito, okay? This is the packaging. Here, let me turn it around. This is the packaging. It's all in a Asian language, Vietnamese, Korean, uh, I really don't know. Um, but I think this is, I'm gonna say this is Japanese because uh, yes, it's, it's, so so this is Japanese. This is a product of Japan. Um, I just looked at the back. This is a product of Japan, okay? And so five of these come in that, in this package, okay? And this is basically fish flakes. Um, this is dried shaved skipjack tuna, okay? Um, don't quite know how many ounces is in here but I'm gonna use one of these packages, okay? One of these packages for this particular ponzu sauce. And then I have my uh, dashi kombu. I have that as well, dried kelp. So we're going to put some of that in there as well. And we can go ahead and just start mixing everything up in no particular order, folks. Just get it in there. Um, and what we'll do is we will strain this when we are ready um, to use it. Now, I would suggest you keep this in, um, keep it overnight before you wanna use it. At least let it marinate for 24 hours. I would, I would suggest two to three days, but 24 hours is fine, okay? You wanna you want give this some chance to rest. All right, so I have my two citrus, uh, juices in there, the lemon and the orange. And then I'm gonna go in with one fourth cup of the um, mirin. And if you want to put more in there, you, that's fine. If you wanna put less, that's fine. This ponzu sauce is going to be made according to your taste, okay? Now, we'll go ahead and get the soy off in there. Then we'll get the rice vinegar off in there as well. Give that a little stir. And then we'll just drop the uh, fish flakes off in here. And you can find this at any 
Asian grocery store, okay? Any Asian grocery store, you can find this. Any Asian market, you can definitely find this. Maybe not this particular brand, um, but you can definitely find it. And man, just be careful when you open it up, it's going to taste, I mean, it's gonna smell like some dried fish. It's exactly what it's gonna smell like. All right, so uh, let's get the, the, um, the dried kelp, the dashi kombu, and I'll just, I'll use this much. How about that? I'll use this much. I'll break it down into uh, little pieces so it could fit in there. And I, I, I don't, I couldn't tell you, you know, how much of this stuff to use. Um, just by me making it, I, you know, yeah, I, this, is, this is how much I use. But again, this is gonna be according to um, your taste however you wanted to taste and it's okay to go ahead and taste it like right now uh, so i'm going to get a little bit of this see what we're doing mm -hmm. that's good but i'm going to add some more mirin to it just to just to spice it up a little bit okay so i probably added about two more ounces of mirin than what I um, what I originally used, but that is that is good. But because I'm going to be using this uh, for some sushi, I want to get a little bit more of a sweeter taste because some of the other sauces are going to be just straight soy, straight soy sauce. So I want to kind of let this you know have this kind of balance out the whole experience. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead, stir everything up. Just get a little, another little taste. <clears throat> That's perfect. <clears throat> if you ever taste ponzu in a bottle off the shelf and then you make something like this at home, you'll never buy ponzu sauce again, ever. You would want this all the time, uh, but you gotta make it ahead of time, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on it, and then we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. Um, and we'll leave it in there for 24 hours um, before we use it. So that's the end of the video for one of my favorite sauces, which is a ponzu sauce, and it's only favorite when I make it. I don't particularly like ponzu sauce in the bottles. I just don't. It's just too salty. There's, you know, I don't like it. Uh, this is one of my favorite sauces to make. All right, so we're gonna keep moving on down this road on our sushi journey. And we have to get to one of the most essential things in sushi. That's right, sushi rice. So join us for that episode. Just stay in this playlist, keep going down uh, the playlist and you'll see it and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get something out of it so you can have a better experience for your home making of your own sushi. All right, folks, thank you so much.